everybody so some, some more Hogwarts Legacy we are still in our our bunk room or whatever wait and that the outfit to those girls in the goblet of fire or whatever they don't go to the school the hell who's this lady that's a girl, ain't it? I don't know. Whatever. Alright, let's get to... Wherever the hell we need to get to. Find your common room. What the fuck is that? Now, which way is the common room? Exactly. This way? Ooh. Oh. Must be different starting Hogwarts in your fifth year. It is. You talking about me? <clears throat> There's another one. Am I crazy? Ooh, what is this? No. Nope, okay. I'm gonna start a fire. Don't fall off this time, Nelly. Ooh. The spin. Alright. I enjoy my weekly visits to Dogweed and Death Cat. I find I'm Nelly, more comfortable around Nelly, please get down. That girl. The professor should arrive. Don't fall off this time, Nelly. <laughs> No follow off this time, Nelly. <laughs> what up, Why girl? is everyone so highly strung? It's perfectly safe. <laughs> well, hello. Don't Hi. mind me. I find it helpful to change my point of view now and again. Put things in perspective. Once I made it to the top of Gryffindor Tower, from the outside, without Dope. a broom. Goodness. No way. <laughs> I'm Nelly, by the way. Nelly Ogspire. Ogspire. I've heard rumors about Nelly. what happened to you on your way to Hogwarts. Is it true? Mm -hmm. About the dragon? Absolutely. Uh, yeah, it's true. Yes, our carriage was attacked by a dragon. <clears throat> crikey! I can't believe it. She said How crikey. How thrilling! And also terrifying. Anyway, you've certainly brought some much-needed excitement to Gryffindor. And Hogwarts, for that matter. Uh, nice to meet you. What are people saying about my travels here? Not afraid of heights, are you? Have you ever encountered a dragon? Eh, nice I'm to meet sure you. I'll be seeing you around, either in our common <clears> room <throat> or when you scale your next tower. <laughs> you never know. Bye for now. Later. <clears throat> okay. Give it open. Damn it. Oh, perhaps I should. What's up, girl? I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's not a complicated spell. I should be able to do it non verbally. Why is this not working? Oh, oh hello painting. there. Welcome to Gryffindor. I'm Cressida. Pleasure to Cressida. meet you, Cressida. Splendidly theatrical arrival to the sorting ceremony last evening. Made it in by Bloom. the skin of your teeth. Is it true that your Professor Fig's protege? It is. I'm not sure I'd say that, but I did study with him a little before we arrived. Blast! I was hoping he might have given you some advice on non-verbal casting. Is that what you were trying to do just there? Oh, yes. Having a spot of trouble. I've mastered the charm using its incantation, but this is proving a bit trickier. Uh, I'm sure you'll get it. A little bit more practice. Your casting needs work. Let's give her a vote of confidence. Don't worry. We'll get it in the end. Oh, I hope so. If I can get it, Professor Ronan's sure to be very impressed. I'm just going to keep at it. You do that. Uh, hard to cast non-verbal spells. Can most students do cast... Eh. Do most students know how to cast non-verbally? Not at all. 
Hogwarts doesn't teach nonverbal casting until the sixth year. Mm. And even then, many struggle with it. I'm simply trying to get ahead of the game. Good for you. Well, I wish you'd well, good luck with it. It was nice to meet you, Cressida. You as well. Enjoy your first day. I think I need to change my voice. I sound like C3PO. I would really like someone to try it. Sure, What's you don't up, want bloke? to try it. Brewed it myself. <sighs> Hello. You're the new fifth year. Pleased to meet you. I'm Gareth Weasley. Heard about your travels here. Can't believe it. Glad Another you Weasley. Right. Is it true that someone from the ministry was with you in the carriage? Oh, uh, yes. A friend of Professor Figs. Oh, didn't mean to pry. Nasty business, dragons. Again, very glad you're here. Thank you, Gareth. <laughs> so am I. Are you related to Professor Weasley? I am. She's my aunt. Uh, that must be nice. Awkward. Uh, Does awkward. having your aunt here make things difficult? More than you'd think. Most people assume I can't get into trouble or be given detention. But they're wrong. Aunt Matilda <laughs> tends to treat me as if I'm a first year. Keeps too close an eye on me. It's all a bit suffocating, to be honest. Still, mm. she means well. And she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your back. Nice to meet you. What's that in your mug? Do you have a knack for potions, too? Um. <laughs> Seems you enjoy brewing. Might I assume that you have a talent for potions of all sorts? Well, as I see it, there's little difference, fundamentally, between brewing a modification to Butterbeer and a Wiganweld potion. Though, I'm not certain Professor Sharp would make the connection. He doesn't appreciate my, uh, creativity as much as you might think. Well, it was nice meeting you, Gareth, and thank you for the insights on your aunt. Pleasure to meet you as well. Good luck today. Good luck to you too. New Gryffindor. Professor Weasley is waiting for you outside the common room. Oh, what's this? Uh... Professor. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts. I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique Facts. situation, Facts. joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. Can they still do that? OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Oh. <laughs> A book. Here you are. All your pages are gone. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Nice. Oh, how to do that? Thank you, Professor, but... What do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Oakley dokley. This way. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. Dope. Oh, I guess. <clears throat> I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Mm. Do keep up. I'm coming. Like, right ah, behind you. The guide appears to have some information for you about that painting of poor Barufio. Oh, does it? Simply cast Revelio on it. 
and we'll see what the guide says. Uh... Lumos. No, nope, no. Nope. I forget how to do that one. Uh, for some reason, gave me something called the Wizard's Field Guide. I should follow her and see what teach. Okay. Revelio. A uh, portrait depicts the wizard Barufio, famed of his brain elixir, as an example of what happens when incantations in, are improperly spoken. He once said, instead of F, and found himself in the floor with a buffalo on his chest. <laughs> You've just unlocked a field guide challenge. Your progress towards completing challenges appear here. So, field guide page is in Hogwarts. Uh, this is your wizard level. XP earned from challenges increases your level and power. Okay. Uh, your focus guide tracks your current challenges, progress, select the challenges menu to continue. Uh, boop. Uh, collect your first guide page. <laughs> each item has tiers, special tiers rewards unlock at each tier complete. From your appearance to critical upgrades. Rewards must be claimed from the challenge menu. Come back out then to collect rewards. Your appearance reward, Hogwarts. Oh no, stupid sunglasses. Or glasses. Alright. Clever, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Keep your eyes open for more opportunities. Okay. Inside and outside of the castle. <laughs> Rebellion. Oh, please, Tat. Now, no. No need to get your wand in a twist. Sorry. Um. I had to pet the cat. No time to waste. You've classes to attend. I'm coming. What did I get? Anything? Thank you. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Oh. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Uh, open map. Uh, okay, whatever. South Wing. Uh, in the view, you see the floor flames available that we gain green floor flames, represent flames you have discovered, including your own house common room. Gray floor flames reveal locations of undiscovered. Okay. <laughs> Find academic points of interest, including the astronomy tower, library, and greenhouses. Um, boom. He unlocks the central scent hall of flow flames for you. Use rotate the map. And here we are. Quite the time saver. These it stairs is. lead directly to Central Hall. Well, thank you. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. It's a cool fountain. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. Awesome. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Uh, thank you. Can you tell me more about the Charm class? What exactly is Defense Against the Dark Arts? 
Uh, can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. <laughs> Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. Okay. Um... You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain, and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Dope. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for oh. you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your Extra homework. use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My he suspicion fell. is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Uh, yeah. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... Oh, I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, <coughs> Professor Fig. <coughs> Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Me too. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. More details. Good luck to me. <coughs> and remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom. Oh my God! I've shut up. Both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. My siblings. She just would not shut up. Came as no surprise to my father. Ronan what he's recommended for a binge. Oh! Rebellion. Count some. The uh, ornate fountain features an originally carved statue of denizens of magical world, including a set of stone stones encircling the fountain space. <laughs> oh. What's this? It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? No. Uh, there's nothing. Yes, sir. But I didn't tell her anything else about her travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, 
I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well trained. Mm. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not so subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Oh. Unfold it and have a look. Okie dokie. <clears throat> uh, this blank room is the main quest. Completing the main quest will further the story. Unlock new features and grant XP. Some quests are locked by spells, blah, blah, blah. In the cases, you will need to be the required level and or have the required spell to activate the quest. New spells can be earned by completing pressure as assignments or as quest rewards. Tarek request with X to continue. Dark Arts. And Charm class. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead. What with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Okie dokie. Um, quest complete. Charm compass. I guess you hear that? Oh, what is this? We got a squidly and Who's that? There's squid. No, oh, there's squid. Squidward. I don't know. Is that what I'm supposed to do? That's the last time I have a potion idea that I don't write down. Off on another adventure, are we? Yep. All right, let's go to class. Maybe we'll figure that one out later. Um, yes, open. Revelio. Oh, found some. The fountain in the transfiguration, transfiguration courtyard has a likeness of <laughs> river on top and serves as a realistic, relaxing place of the blah, blah, blah. Okay. Found another thingy. Dope. So we can fast travel. Uh, this being the picture of the young orphan wizard Elias, who previously saved a, his entire village from an army of Dementors and the Dark Wizards, uh, whatever that name is, by conjuring a uh, mouse Patronus. Dope! Oh. Can't go in there. Sorry about all the snorting and whatever. I'm, my allergies are driving me nuts. Revelio. Oh, it's running. 
Eh. No. Nope. Still going up. It's the dragon. Is that all you've got? Oh, what's out? Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso. A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Okay. Uh, study your one with L and guide it along the simple with path to learn a spell. Press the corresponding inputs to accelerate your path in one's motion. Boom. Levioso. Levioso. Got a coach. Levioso. Now, let's try something a little larger. Oh, look at that guy. Watch out. Let us begin with a basic cast. Cast. Boom. See how the dummy deflected your cast. I did, I did. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Levioso. So, now, well done. Take that and that and beat your ass. I get him. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start mm. with you two. Duelist, <laughs> take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. That's a protecto one, right? Levioso. Protego. Protego. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing up there? <laughs> You're good. Now perceptive. Thank you. Stupid. Levioso. Let's just say I'm a quick I do enjoy a life with you. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Why to anticipate your opponent's next move? You're not gonna make this easy, are you? I wouldn't. Cast Levioso to throw your opponent off guard. What? How's the view? Use the basic card. Let me know when your opponent's card is down. Knock him off. Not bad for a beginner. 
You give as good as you get. <laughs> kind of beat my ass a little bit, though. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Gryffindor. Oh, thank you, Yay. Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. Damn right. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Okay. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Who's this? Nice work. I yeah, enjoyed swallows. that. Swallows. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was some good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sam Sebastian right. Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. Uh, I'm not sure I want to combat. It was never used. It was never used my wand in combat. Yeah. I've dueled enough. <laughs> Consider yourself lucky I held back. Oh, huh. I ain't gonna be that confident. My bad. You owe me an honest jewel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Mm. Unsanctioned? I don't know. School rules are in place for a reason. Yes, to keep students in the dark. So many things we're deemed unprepared to know. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Okay. Till next time. Let me see. Uh, what's up, you girl? You jeweled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. Thank you. All right, charm what class. What are you up to now? I don't know. Where's charm class? Nah, charm class. All right. No, wrong thing. So we got Levioso and that guy. Is it this way? Not? Now am I? Oh, now I am. Rebellion. Put it down.
Mm. You can always tell the first one. Oh, three headed dog. Rebellion. Nothing. Okay. Mm -hmm. This way. Oh, it's up that way. What's over here? Oh, Professor Fig's classroom. <clears throat> How nice to see you, my young friend. Who's talking? Damn it. What's up, girl? Huh. Always thought Levioso was for first years. Not anymore. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. Revelio sometimes has to remind him to finish the lesson. Some of us don't necessarily want him to get back to the lesson. What's up, guys? I'm new here. Here. Behind you. There is an open seat here. Well, thank, thank you. you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right? Mm. Now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Mmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? No. Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are, and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Ah, okay. Akio. Akio. Got it, coach. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, That's it. as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! Ah. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree, hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> What's this? <laughs> so why am I up first? Our newest students start us off. Hmm? Okay. <laughs> what am I doing? Very simply, uh, cast a 
Tokyo on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. Actually, this is to pull the sphere as... Very good! Did I get it? Ah. Oh. Splendid! Let's try this one. A little bit. And now. How do I do? Very good. Points to Gryffindor. Dope. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? That was my first try. That's not fair. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Uh, what do I do? Use ask you to summon the balls as close as you can to the edge of the ballot and it over it. That's not fair. Ah. Excellent. Here we go. I feel like she's done this before. That is how it's done. Oh, I'm sucking. There, I got a fifty. Well done. I did okay. I mean, come on. It's my second time ever. Let's make this a bit more interesting, shall we? What did you? Oh. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. No, she just walked this right through me. That was a good. What spell is that? Let us see this. Let's see. Want to go here? Uh, too much, too much. Don't lose Damn your it. composure. I did too much. There we go. All right. Let's see. There we go. That is how it's done. Move out of the way, guy. Quite impressive. I'm getting better. Good, both of you. Well done. Thank you. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Well done back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. Oh, good. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Nice. 
Uh, what does you got? Is Wakadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you it for is. asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Oh, you better okay. not keep him waiting. Until next time. Thanks. Of course, a word can, can you if you would. On humans, if you're so inclined. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. What's that? I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor. Though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor can, Weasley has that asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Sounds good. Quest complete. I'm leveled up. Nope. What are you doing? Professor Ronan reminds me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom, but a bit mad. A little bit. After my brother learned the summoning charm, hey. it was constant Accio this, Cressida. Accio that, cutlery flying everywhere. Quite unsafe, really. Hello there. You're the new student, Hello. aren't you? Hello. You wanted to speak to me? Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Oh, really? I hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. Uh, let's go. Kind of, what's the challenge? Yeah. <laughs> I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. No, you can't. Mm. Oh, we have a new thing. What we got? What's this? Uh, alright. Yeah. My family's out. Revelio. And then the werewolves joined the goblins. Goblins, the werewolves, where were you? In the Goblin Rebellion of 1752. And by the, end of it, the minister for oh, another one. Was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. <gasps> oh, what fun! I won't say my goodbyes. Of I should cheer for the boy who says you're telling lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert One, Boot. No, it wasn't. It was three, Basil Flat. Oh, four, fight, fight. It's five. a bold attack. Was the minister a boot or the minister a flat? No, no, no. Stop it, Peeves. You'll no, get us in trouble. No, in trouble, no, you'll be. You no. can't give Peeves a smack. What the hell? She says it's a boot and he says it's a flat. Peeves, enough. You'll get us all detention. Maybe it's and you're one, both wrong anyway. two, It was Hephaestus Gore. Three, it wasn't oh, maybe it's it a spider. Black, but you're all in trouble with Professor Black. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, that one. Uh, this one's spider. This one's spider. All right. Uh, nope. 
shoot. There. Right. Horse. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. What is that? No, no, no. Okay. Uh, two, three. Yeah, I think it's this. No, that. I think it's that. And... I have no clue. Boom. Nope. Boom. Nope. Boom. Nope. Boom. Nope. Boom. Nope. Boom. Okay. Um, I don't know. Revelio. Where am I going? Suppose I'd be curious about a beautification potion. But not for me, no mind. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. All right, where do I need to go? Travel. Oh, now. Professor. I'm here. Oh, another kitty cat. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? Mm -hmm. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Nah. Uh. Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details. I'm so, that's not my problem. Spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, mm -hmm. Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Awesome. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now. Regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, yep. we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. Beautiful. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Uh, what can you tell me about the potion shops? What are spellcrafts? So oh, there's... Eh, whatever. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I've talked to him for like two seconds. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss yeah. Onai is one of our most Chick. talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including Guys, his right hand she of talks sorts. Way too much. Harlow, if you can. 
Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Yeah, can't wait for a butterbeer. Rebellion. I knew I saw something. Uh, a teacup, like we said. Hey, wasn't that in a in the movie? So is it or is that students who do not take seriously? So come. Yes, yes, yes. I know, I know. All right. Uh, yeah, we're going to end this one here. Hope you guys are enjoying. We finished our two or two classes for the day, and we'll pick up. We'll do some more homework, apparently, and go from there. So, as always, I hope you guys are enjoying. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, uh, and I'll see you next time. Peace.